They're on. Mics are on. I'm having arrived. I call the meeting of the City Council to order for today, June 24th, 2019. It's approximately 7.07. .07. Please stand and salute the American flag. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, America and to the republic for which it stands, which it stands one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Council, just a quick note. I got a call from Councilor Sullivan and Council Lally. Uh, the two of them, although they're not together, but they're not <laughs> going to be here uh, together because of prior uh, commitments. So we're going to be missing the two councilors. Uh, Mr. Clerk. We have the acceptance, one. acceptance of the minutes of the May 28, 2019 City Council meeting. That will be accepted and placed on file. Acceptance of the minutes of the June 24, 2019 Special City Council meeting. That too shall be accepted and placed on file. We have appointments. The appointment of Michael Livingston to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. The appointment of David Farrell to the rank of lieutenant in the Brockton Police Department. That too shall be referred to the Committee on Finance. We have the appointment of Peter Skelly as a special police officer of the City of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2020. Mr. President, uh, Council Powell. After the clerk reads these, I would move to take items 5 through 10 collectively, Second. suspend the rules, and act on them tonight. Second. A uh, motion has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of suspending the rules and acting on it tonight? All those in favor, Mr. Captain Clerk, Lee. please. We'll take those collectively. Collectively. Okay. <clears throat> this is the appointment of special police officers of the city of Brockton for a term of one year ending 2020. Peter Skelly, Brian Larry, Scotty Aldman, John Londergren, Robert Smith, and Robert Sergio. The question is on confirmation by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. That's nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative. Mr. President. The appointment is confirmed. Uh, Council Farwell. Mr. President, just to, before I move reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail, may I have a moment of personal privilege? Absolutely, sir. We're very privileged tonight to have some experienced police officers from the Brockton Police Oops. Department who have offered many years of service to the residents and to the city. They will now become special police officers. They will be eligible to work details. This initiated uh, through Councilor Ian Erie and a home rule petition, which was passed by the legislature. And this is really going to help the police department and our residents by having this, the, uh, these additional personnel at a time when we need them. So we certainly hope all of you remain safe and we thank you for your willingness to come back and serve the residents of Brockton once again. And with that, I would move reconsideration. And Second. That it does not prevail. A uh, motion for reconsideration has been properly made in second. All those in favor of reconsideration? Oops. All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Congratulations, John. Mr. President, the clerk has uh, been kind enough to indicate that he can have the officers come up, administer the oath, and sign the book. And oh, nice. uh, we'd like to let all of you know that's what will happen next. So. I believe this is appropriate since this is the first time we're doing this. I think uh, since we're breaking some new ground here, I think it's appropriate for us to do that. So, gentlemen. Nice. My glasses. <laughs> Your glasses. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I got to get a picture of the robes gallery here. <laughs> <laughs> you should be in it with them. <laughs> <laughs> I was there long enough. So. That's right. 
Everybody looks younger than me. That scares me. Everybody's younger because than me. Because they are. <laughs> well, you're full of compliments tonight. So. <laughs> you didn't buy last week. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you raise your right hand? Insert your name after I and repeat after me. I. Do solemnly swear. Okay, no lally. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. I. Solemnly swear. Faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me as a special police officer for the city of Brockton according to the best of my ability and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth and the ordinances of the city of Brockton. So help me God. I solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Ready to stand again? We'll stand again. Fears you got, Brian. I said, You should start umpiring. <laughs> you should umpire. A lot of stories we could tell, gentlemen. A lot of stories. Not tonight. <laughs> we'll meet you at the bar after. <laughs> and I was thinking. I wonder how that, that goes back. That's okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. Uh, Oh, you're welcome. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Usually they give us a recess. We go down there. Congratulations. Want to give a little applause? Congratulations. Welcome. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Councilors, if, uh, if I could just have the uh, family members who are here just to uh, stand and be recognized because I know that this is a, a family yeah. affair where oh, some yeah. of you guys. It's a family affair, you know, the guys were all retired, now they're back to doing some work, so thank you very much for doing this. With that, we're going to take a quick recess, so if you uh, folks...
back on. Next item on the agenda, Mr. Clerk. We have the hearings of Liberty Acquisition Corp, DBA Cop uh, Copeland Volkswagen, 970 West Chestnut Street, Brockton, for a transfer of garage license located at 122 Liberty Street, Brockton. Master current owner is Paul Clark, Inc. In City Clerk's Office, April 24, 2019. Hearing is signed for June 24, 2019 at 7 p.m. All paperwork is on file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare this portion of the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor of this petition? Anyone in favor? If you're in favor, please give your name to the clerk. My name is Laura. Last name is Sishu, C-I-C-C-I-U. Anything you want to say on your behalf? or? Uh, no, we're just looking forward to keeping the business in Brockton and continuing with the good Copeland name. Oh, great. Uh, thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor of this petitioner? Petition? Going once, going twice. <laughs> Close that portion. Is there anyone, anyone here in opposition of this petition? Anyone in opposition? Going once, twice. I declare that close. Mr. Now, Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, if I might, uh, I just want to make one one comment, and, and I think uh, she mentioned it as well. Uh, you know, they're pleased to be able to stay here in the city of Brockton, which I think is the most you know positive thing that uh, we could probably ask for. So. I, I, welcome, um, I welcome it now to be known as a Copeland Volkswagen. From, uh, for many years, it was a, a Clark Volkswagen. Uh, it was built there uh, some time ago uh, for that purpose. So appreciate the fact that you're going to be uh, you know, taking over the, uh, the VW name there and, and you're keeping everything in, in place in, in just the, the way it is. So um, with that, I'd, I'd, I'd move that we uh, approve this, uh, this transfer um, this evening. Second. Motion has been properly made and second to grant. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? Motion granted. Thank you. Thank you. Next item, sir. Liberty Acquisition Wait, Corp, DBA Copeland Volkswagen, 970 <laughs> West Chestnut Street of Brockton, for a transfer of motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 122 Liberty Street, Brockton. Current owner is Paul Clark, Inc. In City Clerk's Office, April 24, 2019. Hearing is signed for June 24, 2019, 7 p.m. All paperwork on file. The fire department has no objections. <coughs> Time having arrived, I declare this portion of the hearing open. Is anyone here in favor of this petition? Yes, my name is Laura Sishu. Uh, anything else you want to add or just the simple? Same. Same. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor of this petition? Anyone else? Hearing none, I close that portion. Is there anyone here in opposition of this petition? Opposition, going once. Twice, three times. Mr. President, I, I'd make a motion that we uh, move to grant the uh, the license here the same. Second. Uh, this yeah. Thank you. The motion has been properly made and properly second to grant the license. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? Motion is granted. License is granted. Great. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck. Good luck. Number 13, sir. Of Compass Holden, Inc., 514 North Main Street, Brockton for a transfer of above ground storage license located at 1126 North Montello Street, Brockton. The current owner is Alfred Colarusso and city clerk's office May 8, 2019. Hearing is signed for June 24, 2019. All paperwork is on file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare this portion of the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor of this petitioner? In favor of this petitioner? Mr. President, I believe they're out in the hallway. Oh, they are? I saw Mr. Colarusso here earlier. Oh, okay, so either they have to step in or we're going to have to <laughs> gavel them. <laughs> I like that time. If you're here in favor of your petition, please step to the microphone and state your name to the clerk. Good evening, Yaniv Sostiel. And what are you planning to do with this? Can you give us a little? Um, it's a gas station uh, that we bought, and I guess oh, we're here okay. to transfer the underground storage license. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor of this petition? This is in your word, okay. Yes. Are you in favor or against this? Well, I'm in favor. The co this business belonged to the Calarusos, and um, this is a transfer of a license. They sold a business a while back, and I believe um, they're just doing some 
work to the station and renovating it and hopefully get it back up and running soon. So um, I'm in support of this. I know that there's issues right now with some of the construction, but I wouldn't want to see that hold up their, um, their license. All right, is anyone else in favor? Hearing none, you're, you're okay. in favor, sir? Why don't you come up and uh, state your name to the clerk, please? Hi, Vincent Colarusso, 95 Wilder Street. Uh, I was the present owner of the AMS Gas. Been in the family for 80 years. It just got difficult to uh, survive with all the competition, and I'm in favor of it transferring to Yaniv. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, is anyone else here in favor? Hearing none, I close that portion. Is anyone here in opposition of this petition? In opposition, going once, twice, three times. I close that portion as well. Okay. A motion to grant the uh, underground license. Second. Second. A motion has been properly made in second to grant the, the transfer. All those in favor? All those opposed? It shall be done. Thank you, sir. We have the petition of Brian's Taxi, 20 Putnam Street, Brockton, for an increase of five additional vehicles to taxi licenses for a total of 12 taxis. In City Clerk's Office, June 18, 2019, all paperwork is on file. Yeah, my name is Brian Parker from Brian Taxi, looking for five additional licenses. All the, uh, the police has made out the uh, proper inspections. They couldn't complete the inspection because I need them a day. That's why I'm here. So I believe it should go through tonight. Um, he will re-inspect them within this week and I should be able to use my licenses. You know, due to Uber, being able to do whatever they want, um, we need to correct this problem. So if I need additional licenses, which I will in the winter, because it's our busy time, mm -hmm. we need to figure this out. I'm paying $150 a day in insurance, sitting on the cabs, because I needed them to get inspected. So they need to be insured, um, sticker, everything else. So they're sitting there, they've been sitting there for about 30 days. And that's my case. Is there anyone else here in favor of this petition? Yes. Yeah. Right. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Name is Donald Karp reside at 11th Skyview Drive in Brockton, <clears throat> and I do some driving for Brian Taxi. Uh, this taxi cab company is the only one left in Brockton, mm -hmm. and I have a hunch that a lot of you are not aware of how important this cab company is to the infrastructure and in the running of this city. Mm -hmm. They are the only mode of transportation that'll take cash. All the others, uh, Uber, you know, these this social media companies, you have to have a credit card. Uh, th the company itself is under attack from social media, mm -hmm. and the city is making it cumbersome to get a vehicle onto the road. I was shocked when I learned, you know, what they have to do to get a cab simply on the road, whereas... Mm -hmm. The mm. Uber type companies can do it in two days. Uh, they also can charge whatever they want, and I'm sure you've heard the stories of how in, on one day the r one ride costs one price, two days later it can be double that. Uh, in any event, uh, you, should, you should be supporting a local business that's supporting this city and our residents, yeah. they employ, well, they, they don't actually employ, but the, the jobs are created for residents in this city, they pay taxes in this city, and they do uh, an abundance of good, such as a free ride once in a while when someone doesn't have a, a penny in their pocket. Uh, they're also a backup to 911, believe it or not. They have a radio station on air 24-7 with a live person, not a machine, answering the phone all the time. You should be doing everything you can to support and to make sure that they survive. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor of this petitioner? Uh, yeah, Mr. President, I, I am also um, in favor of this uh, 
uh, petitioner in regard to the importance of you know having the only taxi company uh, in the city. I myself um, had a conversation with Mr. Patman in regard to uh, the responsibility of his company and given the fact that as we speak, uh, this is the only uh, taxi company that we have uh, in the city. And I, and, I, and I also spoke with him in regard to how they are the only you know, cab driver as we speak in the city that actually take cash from them. So I just had a conversation with the clerk in regard to the process about this. I was gonna make a motion to grant it tonight, but I think um, the clerk said that there's one step to go um, before they can finalize it. So I would like to see all my colleagues uh, support this because I think it is very important. As we speak, uh, if you go to uh, by the Brockton uh, Neighborhood Health Center and also on Legend Parkway, you will see some of his um, cars out there. And I think it's not enough giving uh, the amount of call they are receiving. I myself went to his business uh, recently to sort of like uh, take a look at the traffic that was going there. And as we speak, they do not have the capacity to satisfy it. I understand we have to follow all the process, but according to uh, Mr. Patman, it seems like uh, he already went to the Brockton Police Department uh, to do what he had to do, but I think the clerk said that there's one step to go, and I think once we reach that step, hopefully all of my colleagues uh, will support this uh, this petition. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Councillor. Um, Councillor Cash. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening. I just wanted to speak in support of this as well. I was recently made aware of the fact that this is the last taxi cab company in Brockton. They do a lot of good for the city and for the residents of the city, and I support this. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Um, uh, Councillors, uh, I'm looking for a. Uh, I, I make a, I make a motion that we approve uh, for them this evening. You haven't finished well, the hearing. It wasn't. It wasn't a public oh, hearing, so oh, it was a peti oh, just a petition. petition. Yeah. It's a petition. Question here will be on granting after you heard both sides. Right. <coughs> Is there anyone here in, uh, that opposes to, uh, Excuse to this me? petition? Huh? What did you say? What was that? I, I didn't hear what. Uh, no, he says we got to go Mr. through this, said. this this parliamentary procedure here in order to get to that granting piece. Is there anyone here in opposition to this? Hearing none, we'll, we'll close that portion. Question is on granting. Question is on granting. I'm All ready. those in favor of granting? Aye. All those opposed? License is granted, sir. Thank Good you. Luck. Good luck. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of June 17, 2019. That will be accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the police chief requesting the city council authorize the total appropriation of $180,000 from police department personal services, non-overtime, to police department capital. The additional funds will be used for the department to replace the roof at the police department. That will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too shall be accepted and placed on file. from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. And a communication from the Brockton Library Director requesting the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures for the total grant funds and the amount of $50,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Mass Marketing Partnership, grant to Brockton Public Library Mass Marketing Partnership Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used for an illuminated sign on the corner of White Avenue and Main Street. The sign will officially name the main branch of the Brockton Library, Thomas P. Kennedy Main Branch, Brockton Public Library, in honor of the late Senator Thomas P. Kennedy. That will be accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too shall be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the will same. Be accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Plymouth County Treasurer's Office requesting the City Council authorize the approval of Mass General Laws Chapter 32B, Section 20, as amended by Chapter 218, Section 15 of the Acts of 2016, and further authorize the participation in the Plymouth County Trust program. That will be accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. And that too shall be accepted and placed on file. We have the appointment of Ken, uh, Catherine M. Asia, 5 Tarkin Hill Lane, Bridgewater, Mass, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. In Council May 28, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. 
Farwell? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. Order the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Cottage Grove Avenue, extending from the end of the 1967 layout at Wooded Avenue, southerly, a distance of about 322.27 feet, more or less, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay it as a public street or way of said city of Brockton. In council, March 11, 2019, Ready to refer to stand committee on finance and planning. Those reports were favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Alexandra's Way, extending from West Chestnut Street, southerly, a distance of 765.71 feet, more or less, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. In Council, March 25, 2019, Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance and Planning. Those reports were favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Rachel's Way, extending from Alexander's Way, southwesterly and southeasterly, a distance of 647.28 feet, more or less, to Alexander's Way. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street all way of said city of Brockton. End Council, March 25, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance and Planning. Those reports were favorable. The question is under option by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. <clears throat> Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the common necessity and the convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Cypress Drive, extending from Rockland Street, easterly and northerly, a distance of about 1,402 feet, more or less. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. End Council, March 25, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance and Planning. Those reports were favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Mm, yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Rock Meadow Drive, extending from Rockland Street easterly, a distance of about 1,200 feet more or less, and from Rock Meadow Drive northerly, a distance of about 310 feet more or less, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street all way of said city of Brockton. End Council, April 8, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance and Planning. Those reports were favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $77,603 from the U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Justice Programs, 2018 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant, to Brockton Police Department, 2018 Edward Byrne Memorial <coughs> Justice Assistant Grant, uh, JAG Fund, in Council, May 28, 2019, Reading Fair to Stand Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. 
Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Audit acceptance expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $80,433 from the U.S. Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs, 2017 Edward Byrd Memorial Justice Assisted Grant to Brockton Police Department, 2017 Edward Byrd Memorial Justice Assisted Grant, JAG Fund, in Council, May 28, 2019, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Barancourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. A transfer of $125,000 from Treasury to Debt interest short-term notes to Treasurer's Medicare tax in Council May 28, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An audit of many revised auditors of the City of Brockton, Chapter 6, Article 1, Section 6-2, Composition, the Chapter 6, Article 1, Section 6-2 of the revised auditors of the City of Brockton be amended to increase the number of fire department captains by one from 17 to 18 for a limited period of time subject to a sunset clause. This will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. <clears throat> An audit of many chapter 27 of the revised auditors of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Councils as follows. Chapter 27 of the revised auditors of the City of Brockton, hereby amended by amending the zoning district map in the vicinity of the northerly side of Belmont Street, westerly side of Pearl Street, and the northeasterly side of Stonehill Street. Said proposed change to be from R-1 zone, single family, residential zone, to C-5 zone, office zones. This will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance and Planning. An audit amending Chapter 1 of the Revised Ordinances, Chapter 15, Article 2, Section 15-222 of the Revised Ordinances is hereby amended relative to the Superintendent of Parks. Refer to the Committee on Ordinance. An audit amending Chapter 1 of the Revised Ordinances, Chapter 2, Article 4, Section 2-296 of the Revised Ordinances is hereby amended relative to the Chief Financial Officer. That too will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. An audit amending Chapter 1 of the Revised Ordinances, Chapter 2, Article 1, Section 2-9 of the Revised Ordinances is hereby amended relative to the Executive Director of Election Commission. Uh, that too shall be uh, referred to the Committee it's on Ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 1 of the Revised Ordinances, Chapter 19, Article 2, Section 19-21, the Revised Ordinances is hereby amended relative to the Police Chief. That too will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. Order that the zoning request change from the industrial to commercial for the property map on East Ashland Street, previously voted on by the Planning Board and forwarded to the City Clerk and City Council. <clears throat> the proposed amendment that the following parcels be included in a proposed change, 161-094, 161-096, 161-097, 161-097R, 161-098, and 161-113. The addition of these properties will protect the existing residential zones from the possibility of any future expanded industrial uses. This will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. Audit in accordance with the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, that the City Council authorizes the approval of Mass General Laws, Chapter 32B, Section 20, as amended by Chapter 218, Section 15 of the Acts of 2016, and further authorize the participation in the Plymouth County Trust Program. Referred to the Committee on Finance. Total appropriation of $180,000 from Police Department Personal Services non-overtime to Police Department Capital. Mr. President. Um, Councilor Fowler. I'd like to move that we suspend the rules and act on this tonight and speak in the motion. Briefly. Second. 
A motion has been properly made and second to suspend the rules and act on this tonight. All those in favor of suspending the rules? Mm -hmm. All those opposed? We shall do that. Council. Uh, Mr. President and colleagues, back in December, we appropriated some money to repair the roof yes. at the police station. The work is more extensive than we thought. They need some additional Makes funding. Sense. And rather than have this go to FinCom and then come back to the council in August, I think it's prudent we pass this tonight so they can get started on the work and get it done before <coughs> fall and, and uh, make sure that the police department building is as watertight as it can be. Thank, thank you. Thank you, uh, Councillor. Anyone else? Uh, the question will be on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. <laughs> Farwell? Yes. Monian? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The appropriation is affirmed. Mr. Yes. President, I move reconsideration in the hope that it does not Second. Prevail. A motion for reconsideration has been properly made in second. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? It does not carry. Total grant funds in the amount of $50,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Massachusetts Marketing. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you have Marketing to Partnership Grant to Brockton Public Library Mass Marketing Partnership Grant Fund. I'm going to get a whiplash. So, uh, who stood up first? Let the old man go ahead. You make a motion, <laughs> Council of Orgarsh. Okay, we want we want to take this under the suspension of rules because this is 2019 appropriation for the fifty thousand dollars for the library. In the form of a motion. Yes, that is. Second. A motion to suspend the rules and act on this item tonight has been properly made. In second, all those in favor of suspending the rules, all those opposed, it shall be suspended. Madam Clerk. Uh, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Firewell? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Nine in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Move for reconsideration and hopes does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion for reconsideration has been properly made in second. All those in favor of consideration? All those opposed? It does not carry. Resolved to invite a representative from National Grid to address the concerns of the Brockton community of the community uh, regarding the recent manhole cover explosions. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. We have an executive session to discuss legal matters. The council determines that an open session discussion would have a detrimental effect on the city. Uh, council <laughs> Fabo. Yes, uh, very briefly, Mr. President. The city solicitor is unavailable tonight. He is traveling out of state. I think it's important that we hear from him on uh, all legal matters, but certainly the ones that would be the subject of the executive session. So I would move that we postpone an executive session until uh, July, and, uh, it, to the July Finance Committee meeting. Second. Don't all, jump, second. Don't all jump at once. Can need one on. <laughs> uh, a motion has been made and properly second to postpone this item to the City Council meeting in July. All those in favor of postponement. All those opposed, it shall be postponed. Okay. All items in the agenda are available in their entirety for review in the city clerk's office for all interested parties. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Councilor Monahan. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion for a late file. Second. Uh, motion has been properly made in second. All those in favor of accepting a late file? All those opposed? Do you have it? Yeah. I don't. I just have a question for you. <laughs> Amendment to zoning map for parcel ID 092-029-936 Pleasant Street, bid a day pursuant to section 27-5 of the city ordinance's zoning map, whereby reference is made to an incorporation of said boundaries of each of the zones established as shown in the map entitled the City of Brockton, Massachusetts Zoning District Map, dated November 10, 1967, and thereafter amended. That said map be amended to reflect the following zoning change. Parcel ID 092-029-93 Pleasant Street, C2 current to I1 zone. Finance and ordinance should go first. Uh, that will be referred to the committee on ordinance. Thank you. 
finish with planning. Too. Mm -hmm. And planning. Committee on ordinance. Ordinance and planning. And planning. Okay. Uh, anything else, councilors? Uh, moment of personal most privilege. Most moment of personal privilege, Councilor yes. Borgard. Thank you. A moment of personal privilege is actually got to have a lot of things to announce here. First of all, uh, we were having summer solstice on the beginning day of summer, uh, last Friday the 21st, but as a lot of people know, it poured at four o'clock. But you know, you've got to give credit. Oh, we had all these young kids volunteering, and do you know that every single one of them showed up? to help out and volunteer, and that's pretty impressive. Good way to start off the summer, so we wanted to recognize them. But there's three, two other things I want to mention here. Uh, I've been asked by Lynn Smith, who's being recognized actually by PBS. They will be taping part of the Frederick Douglass reading, the annual reading that will take place on June 30th, uh, Sunday at 4 p.m. at Frederick Douglass um, Park. And uh, that's everyone is invited, it's a free event. And I also want to let people know that there are still some openings and a few of them have popped up on boards and commissions, in particular now the Library Board of Trustees and the License Commission. So I just uh, want to let people know that yes, I, we do not select them, we approve them, but if anyone's interested, they can write a letter of interest and send a resume to the Mayor's office. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Anyone else? No? Uh, having absolutely no further business for the people and by the people of the city of Rockton, we are adjourned. Thank you.